Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fantastic recipe for you homemade fafta. Fafta is a popular Gujarati snack, known for its crunchy texture and savory flavors. We're going to walk you through the steps to make this delicious treat in the comfort of your own kitchen. So, let's get started. Let's begin with the ingredients. You'll need 2 cups of besan, gram flour Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder Half a teaspoon of karam seeds, ajwain Half a teaspoon of asafetida, hing 2 tablespoons of oil Salt to taste Water as needed Oil for frying In a mixing bowl, add 2 cups of besan Followed by half a teaspoon of turmeric powder Half a teaspoon of karam seeds Half a teaspoon of asafetida 2 tablespoons of oil, and salt to taste. Mix these dry ingredients well. Now, gradually add water and knead the mixture into a smooth and firm dough. This should take about 5-7 minutes. You can see our dough is now ready. It's important to get the right consistency not too soft, not too hard. Cover the dough with a cloth and let it rest for 15 minutes. After resting, divide the dough into small portions. Take one portion and roll it into a cylindrical shape. Now, using your palms, roll it out into a long, thin strip. It should resemble a rope-like structure. Take the strip and twist it gently to form the classic fafta shape. Repeat this process with the rest of the dough portions. In a frying pan, heat oil over medium heat. You'll want enough oil to submerge the fafta. Once the oil is hot, carefully slide the fafta strips into the oil. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry the fafta until they turn a beautiful golden color, which should take about 4-5 minutes. Once they're done, use a slotted spoon to remove them from the oil. Place the crispy fafta on a plate lined with paper towels to remove any excess oil. And there you have it, homemade fafta, ready to be served. These make for a perfect snack or a great accompaniment to your tea. Let's do the taste test. Mmm. The fafta is incredibly crispy and packed with flavor. You can serve it with green chutney or tamarind chutney for that extra zing. That's a wrap for today's recipe. I hope you enjoyed making and indulging in these homemade fafta as much as I did. If you liked this recipe, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye and happy cooking!